Hello everyone. This is a very nice problem in front of you. We will solve it today. So let's see how can we proceed with this with this problem. A type of problem. Problem. We should uh, first uh, go through the basics. What is the basic basics? All we know that sine square x plus cos square x equal to one. So we will try to fit this into this equation. So let's see the solution. We will multiply seven sine square x. It here we get sine square x plus cos square x. Up multiply both side by seven sine square x. So it will be seven sine square x plus seven cos square x dot seven sine square x equal to eight seven to the power sine square x. Okay. We multiplied both sides seven to the power sine square x. So what will be this? This will be seven sine square x. It will be two times because in the in this power will be added plus seven sine square x plus cos square x equal to eight in seven to the power sine square x. So what will be this become one? And we also know that what we know if a to the power m, it is two m. Then it will become a to the power m to the power whole square. So this will become seven sine square x to the whole square plus this will be seven to the power one equal to eight dot seven sine square x okay so let 7 to the power sine square x equal to y so it will become a quadratic equation and that will help to solve very easily 7 it will be it will be y square y square plus 7 equal to 8 y so what will be this y square minus 8y plus 7 equal to 0. So we will solve this quadratic equation and we will get the value of y. y square minus 8y plus 7 equal to 0. We can divide this middle terms 7y minus y plus 7 equal to 0. We will take y as a common y minus 7 minus 1 here common then it will be also y 7 equal to 0. So y minus 7 one factor and other factor is y minus 1 equal to 0. What we get? We get y there are two values y equal to 7 and y equal to 1. So we will analyze both the, uh, by putting y equal to sine 7 to the power sine square. We have let this. So this will first case. First case y equal to 7. Then this will be. 7 sine square x equal to 7. We can write here 1. So what we get? Say sine square x equal to 1. Or we can say that sine x equal to under root 1. Sine x equal to 
plus minus 1. So here we can divide this page so that we can solve here. What we get? Sin x equal to plus minus 1 or we can say that x equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. We all know this sin pi by 2 is the value of 1 here plus minus so 2n plus 1. Okay. So this is one solution when we get pi equal to 7 and the other one we can say Other we can say when and second case. Second case when y equal to 1. We can write it 7 to the power sin square x equal to 7 to the power 2. It means that sin square x equal to 0 or x equal to and pi. This is n pi. We can write here this 2n into pi by 2. x equal to. So, so now we, we can compare from here. It is for odd value of 1 and odd value of n. This is odd value of pi by 2. This is odd value of pi by 2. And this is even value of pi by 2. Even value of pi by 2. So what we can say? We can say that the whole value of pi by 2 is valid for the given equation. So here the solution will be of the problem. We can write x equal to and pi by 2. Where and where and it is a we can say and is it is so this is the solution of the problem. This was very good question, and I hope I have simply thought this in front of you. This is your answer.